So in today's video, I'm going to be going over a couple missions that you can be doing in Grand Theft Auto Online that are completely solo. And these are going to be some of the easiest and fastest missions that you could be grinding and farming to be earning some extra cash in the game. So we're going to go on here to the missions section. We're going to go on down to the dispatch missions, okay? So at any point, just remember this, if dispatch missions are dishing out double cash and double RP at any point, you could be doing this right now to be earning some extra cash in the game. So we're going to start this one up, and of course, before you start every mission, you want to make sure that you put this on hard mode. So we're doing this one right here, which is dispatch mission number six, and I think, unfortunately, we're going to end up spawning probably at Martin's house, way up here in the, uh, the Vinewood Hills here. So, one of the best guesses for running these missions, of course, is going to be a Mark II Oppressor. If you don't own a Mark II Oppressor, you probably want to think about starting saving your money up. They're very expensive these days, and or just doing something like a Give Friends uh, Cars glitch. Which you can easily find glitches that, like, you know, work potentially on a website like Seven Sins and or something like, I would say, um, you know, maybe Reddit. So, just got GTA glitches on Reddit. So at this point, we're just going to take this Mark II Oppressor. We have to fly it, well, all the way down here, basically, to the airport. So the only thing that we have to do for this mission is uh, destroy the vehicles. So I'm just going to come in here. We're going to come in hot. I'm just going to spam missiles. And hopefully these missiles will blow up all the targets. There we go. All right. So this time, we do have the cops. We're not going to worry about the cops. We just have to leave the area. And then we're going to wait up here. I don't think it'll let you call Lester. Let me try it real quick. Nope, I don't know about that. All right, so anyways, there, we were able to lose the cops just by sitting on top of the maze bank. They're not coming up here. And we were able to earn some nice money right there. Now, that is some of the easiest money that I've ever made. Literally, go blow up some targets and then lose the cops. And I just got paid almost $18,000, which took me only a couple minutes to do. Now, we've got all these other dispatch missions right now. They're dishing out the double cash and the double RP. So, right now, we got this other one right here. It's a dispatch mission. It's going to be called, I believe, dispatch mission number three. Now, for this one, of course, before you start up, make sure you put them on hard mode because on hard mode, it's going to maximize the amount of payout that we're going to be getting. So, we're just going to go ahead and start this up real quick and get into this one. Same rule of thumb. Like, I think every time, we're probably going to end up starting up at... Uh, at Martin's house or something like that. So this is where the Mark II Oppressor is going to come in super handy because we're going to be taking this and flying it to these targets. For this one in particular, we have to go to the airport and blow up an airplane or I think a couple airplanes. You just come in here, the old Mark II Oppressor, and start spamming some missiles. Remember back in the day when we used to have that money glitch with Lester over there? Anyways, you just have to fly away at this point. Yeah, we got the cops. I don't think they will let us call Lester to get rid of the cops while we're in these dispatch missions, which uh, totally defeats the purpose. So all we got to do is literally just uh, fly out into the ocean. They're not going to be able to chase you on a Mark II Oppressor. All right, hold on now. Let me, let me call up Lester real quick just to see. Oh, we can call Lester. Okay, so you can call Lester, which makes it even that easier. Which you may have to pay the $500, but uh, you can get Lester for free by completing Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 of the Bogdan, you know, uh, yeah, the facility heists. So right there, there's another almost $18,000 and then a whole bunch of RP, and that was super easy. Once again, all they had to do was fly down to the southern end of the map, blow up a target, destroy the target, and then leave the area. Lose the cops and then check this out. We're just going to continuously keep doing this. These are the two easiest missions right now that are offering double cash and double RP that we could be taking full advantage of and uh, yeah, earning definite some, some good money there. And I'm not really sure, but I think maybe GTA Plus has it to where you can actually earn even more, but I don't necessarily support GTA Plus. Until GTA 6 gets here, then I'll be thinking about getting some GTA Plus. But other than that, uh, yeah, this right here, you guys, two easy easiest missions in the game by far so once again we're just gonna go ahead and fly our mark to oppressor on over here keep farming the, the same two missions here blow up these targets which is pretty easy with the mark two missiles regardless of the nerfing that rockstar did at one point and then yes we can call up blaster so that's something that you're probably going to want to be doing yeah, and that'll be uh 
Oh, I can't call it, Buster. Oh, there's a timer. Now, I think. <laughs> Whatever. We lost the cops anyways, because they don't go on top of the maze bank. There's tons of places cops just don't go. And this is one of them. So each time that we're doing these missions, dude, I'm getting paid over $17,000, my friends. And this is going to add up pretty quickly. So by the time that I've completed uh, three of these missions, which only takes like a couple minutes to do, I've already gotten like, myself about 50 plus thousand dollars and probably close to about 15, you know, maybe thousand RP, well, maybe 10,000 RP, something like that. How many missions did it? Okay, maybe about 10,000 plus RP. No, maybe about 15. Who knows? It's going to be a lot. That's all I know. And these by far are going to be the two easiest completely solo missions that you should be farming right now to be earning this extra cash in Grand Theft Auto online so just like always if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe for more content turn on post notices go check out the first channel we got even more grand theft auto online content and thank you all for watching my name is gravesite and i will see you in the next one so peace